Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we will be showing you how to either enable or disable the automatic updates for Office 365 or previous versions, such as Microsoft Office 2019, 2016, 2021, etc., etc. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we'll be taking a look at how to either enable or disable the automatic updates that uh, come along with Microsoft Office 365 or Office 2021, 2019, 2016, etc. For those of you that want to either remain on the current version you're on because you're happy and you don't want to update it because it looks different or you just can't navigate your way around, it happens to a lot of us, so don't worry, you're not on your own. And also, as part of a top tip for those of you that are actually on Microsoft 365 or you are using Office and you are on a reoccurring financial payment to Microsoft for the uh, lease of their software, we'll be giving you some options at the end of the video to save yourself a ton of money, so stay tuned for that. So first of all, let's see how to enable or disable the updates. Now obviously, if you are using Microsoft Office and you're on a business PC, potentially you want to keep it up to date to make sure that all the latest security fixes are in order, so we'll show you how to manually update that, and also we'll show you conversely how to disable it. So let's head over to the computer and we'll take a look. Okay, so this is our desktop PC. So what you want to do is to open up any one of the suite of Microsoft Office programs. So let's go ahead and open up Word. And what you'll need to do is to click on blank document, then head over to File, then down to Account. And on this middle panel, this is where we've got all the options that we need. So the, the obvious one here is Office Updates. So if you want to check for an update, click on the Update Options and choose Update Now. And there, uh, we're already up to date, so that's absolutely fine. So say for instance, we're happy with the update, everything's running absolutely fine, and we don't wanna move any further forward, or perhaps there's a buggy version out there, which we definitely don't want. You can click on update options, and you can choose to disable updates. Very simple, very straightforward. And also in this section, you can choose to view what updates are actually available, or which updates have been previously updated. So you can check that if you want to. But for this instance, we're gonna choose disable updates. This will bring up the user account control and the Microsoft Office click to run client. So click on yes. And there we go. So now it's highlighted saying Office updates. This product will not be updated. So there you go. No more updates and you can stay on the current version you're on until Microsoft Force update you, which uh, is unlikely. So for those of you as a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of a gift to you lot if you want to save some money. That is an easy way of actually getting hold of Microsoft Office a lot cheaper. So the first one is to head over to premiumcdkeys.com and you can use the discount code Mike's Unboxing. And if you go into software, you can choose these here. So if you want to grab yourself a Microsoft Office Professional Plus 2019 PC CD key, you can get it for 9.99. That's in euros. It will be translated. So that's going to work out about nine UK pounds. Or if you want a slightly newer version, you can go with the 2021 version, a little bit more expensive, at just under 13 euros. Again, that's gonna to equate to somewhere in the region of about 10 to 11 pounds, which is a tremendous saving over what you could normally buy it for. And obviously if you want a slightly older version, there's also the 2016, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now if you want the Office 365 version, which is the uh, perpetual licensing version, you don't have to pay the extraordinary amount of money that Microsoft wants to charge, which is somewhere in the region of about £100 for the yearly license for up to five users. You can get it actually a lot, lot cheaper on Amazon, believe it or not, of all places. So let's take a look at that. And here we go. This is a very easy one to find. This is the one I generally tend to use if I do need this. So Microsoft 365 Personal. Uh, this will give you a 15-month subscription. So you get your year plus an additional three. And you do get the option of having McAfee Total Protection and all that kind of stuff. I think there's an option for Norton as well if you want to. The choice is yours. But this is a 15-month version, not the 12-month. So you get a little bit more. So that is the Personal Edition. Or if you want the Multiple User Edition, then you've got the option there for... 72.99. This often is a lot cheaper, so do keep an eye out for this. Maybe save it in your basket. It does dip down to some of the reason about fifty pounds quite often, so do check that out. As always, links will be in the video description for you to check it out for yourselves. Okay, so there you go. There is a nice easy way of either enabling or disabling your Microsoft Office updates, and also potentially saving yourself an absolute ton of cash. Now, I should actually say, with the pricing for PremiumCDKeys.com, those prices are all the time. So they are not special offer prices. That is what you would pay pretty much 24-7, 365 days a year 
fantastic value for money. We've been using them for some of the reason like five years now and had very, very few issues, if any. So highly recommended. Uh, sorry about the big plug there, but ultimately it's going to be saving you guys money. Anyway, that's going to wrap this one up. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, smash the like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, hit subscribe and the chime notification and you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.